Hey everybody, this is Dee Arisha, the artist, and welcome to Art Chats with D, where I do my work and I just talk about what I'm doing and talk about life. We chat, or I chat to you. All right, and if you don't know, I'm a multi-talented artist. I do all different types of medium and fine arts. I build furniture, I make jewelry, and I even make these beats you hear on all these videos. I made them, I made them on iTunes. It was really awesome, my iPad. But I love making music, I love creating things. And today, I'm gonna break down how I'm doing this Capricorn Goat. This is from my Token Animal series, my Astrological Token Animal series. Oh yeah, because I also do astrology. Uh, but that's not what this is about. Okay, I want you to look at this artwork that I'm busting my behind doing, but loving at the same time. So this is a pyrography piece. Pyrography is basically wood burning, burning up some wood, burning up some wood here. I absolutely love the smell of it. I love everything about wood. I could literally just sit and stare at wood. It is very strange, but that's just what I do. So right now, I'm drawing out this goat. Now, I'm not a fan of goats, but when you mature as an artist, you realize you don't always have to draw things that you're a fan of, okay? It's just about getting out the artwork because somebody's gonna love this goat. This goat is gonna be the best thing in somebody's living room, okay? This goat's gonna bring them stability. It's gonna make them feel disciplined, okay? I'd put a goat in my office or my workout room. That, that's where I would hang this type of artwork at. Because the goat, you know, it represents tenacity. It represents hard work, climbing. Okay, these suckers climb mountains with their feet, with hooves and stuff. They're intense goats. And, and they, they, they don't play. They don't play and they know about the hard knocks of life. All right, so I'm drawing it out. I'm doing my sketching. It was a little tough trying to do the antlers because it was just so much to it. And sometimes I get very overwhelmed with the different ways and the different directions that I can go when doing these pieces. But, you know, now I'm using my True Art Pyrography pen. I don't even think I used Weller this time. I think I just stayed with True Art because, oh yes, this was the first time I finally got the True Art pen. All right, so shout out to True Art. I was so excited when it came in the mail, and but I was also pissed because I only had one piece. So right now you see me breaking it down with my one pen and I'm using the side of it to do the lines. Oh, there goes my Weller. My Weller's still in the background though. It's still here. I am give up on Weller. I love that sturdy little thing. But anyway, so now I'm breaking down these, these little rivets and these little pieces of me doing this Capricorn goat. And I don't know about you artists out there, but you ever do artwork that you're like disgusted with, but it comes out beautiful, but you were disgusted every step of the way doing it? I don't know. I, I just had this strange experience doing this piece. It was so strange. And I was talking to my homegirl, shout out to Brooklyn. Uh, I was talking to her and I was like, yo man, I this piece is really ugly to me. And she was like, what girl, send it to me. So I sent it to her and she was like, oh my God, it's the best one you've ever done. That's the best one. And I was like, oh my God, of course. So now we got an inside joke. I'll be like, girl, I hate this artwork. And she'll be like, yep, that's gonna sell. That's the one that's gonna sell. But it's, it's you know, it, you draw things and, and you, you can't be so attached to them. And I had to learn, it took me years and years to finally get it, to let go of the attachment to my work and to just be, just do, just breathe it because sometimes you're connecting to something higher than yourself that's telling you to create an artwork piece. So this is for the person that's gonna love this piece and put it in their house. This is for you. This is all for you. So as you can see, my true art machine I have, I even put my little Weller piece in there because that Weller gets so hot, like so, so hot. So I made sure that I had the, um, the true art kit next to it to put it in there. Um, and I know this kind of looks dangerous because I got wire and shit. And you see fire, this shit looks a little dangerous. But it's all right. It was all right. As long as I have my Koto. Koto is that yellow box you may see. The Koto box is what pulls the smoke. So I'm really appreciative and happy about that Koto box. But right now, you know, I'm looking kind of rough. I need to pull, pull my stuff in. But I was tired. That Capricorn goat, this goat pulled 
the world out of me. I think right after this, I did the bull and literally slept for like two days. These pieces take me about nine hours a piece. I've been writing it down. I got faster and faster, but the big piece took me like nine hours to do, which was really great. That's a work day. And I love the fact that I was able to get it done in a day. Some of them a day and a half, but especially when I first started, it took me like a day. Oh, I'm coming back with the Weller now. I'm coming back with the Weller. I love Weller because I can get those deep, deep burns in there. Sometimes I like it so deep it looks black, like sooty, you know, and that gives me the value that I need. I love different values. The more gradients and the more ways you can create value, the more dynamic I notice a piece comes out, you know, from the ears. What's the whitest white? What's the darkest dark? And this is why I like the flat tool when I'm using the Weller. But yes, this is the beautiful Capricorn goat. And right now, this was tough because I don't think there's a phobia out there of holes, like little tiny holes. I don't have that phobia, but I think it's something close to it because when I was doing this, I was like, ooh, look at these little grivets in here. But they can't, I'm telling you, this, this piece is, is magnificent. It's such a beautiful piece, you know, hunters, whatever, people out there that love it, you know. And doing this series made me really, you know, lean even more towards a vegetarian life because these animals are incredible. These are such beautiful animals that are out here in our world, you know. And I just can't emphasize that enough, that how much they should be admired and not eaten if we don't have to eat them. But whatever, you know, I'm not judging nobody. People are here on this earth to do what they're here to do. And I can't judge that because I don't know your path. I don't know the path that you chose in, in life. But you know me, I've been doing art for, man, I remember I used to try to draw Alvin and the Chipmunks when I was living in the projects when I was a kid. And I remember my grandma would sit me down with some oodles and oodles and she would turn on Alvin and the Chipmunks and I wanted to draw, I wanted to recreate those cartoons. So I wanted to be a cartoonist for a long time. And then I said, um, you know, oh shoot, I found out in high school I can do fine art. I pretty much can do anything artistic. I put, I, it's not even having to put my mind to it. I just can do it. And it's this incredible gift I have, but like anything, you know, so this was easy for me to pick up. I just started doing biography like a couple months ago. So you've really been coming with me on this journey to creating this art. Uh, and thank you for coming with me, those people that are actually watching these videos and supporting this stuff because this is my journey. This is my, my new journey into learning how to use fire to manipulate something. And I just think it's just such a incredible tool. So I build furniture and could I do pyrography art on the furniture? Yes, I could, okay. And hey, if you wanna fly me out and get me materials, and give me somewhere nice to stay, I'll build your freaking furniture. I'll build all the furniture in your house if you want. I don't care, because I just love doing that. Man, especially when, you know, my herbal days, I'll get some herbals and just go to town with my hat and my glasses and all that stuff. So right now I'm just adjusting the camera angles and stuff. I'm just doing what I gotta do to make this piece the best piece that I can make it. You know, working with the burning tools, especially when you're doing the the shading and when you're you're getting to these hard difficult parts you really have to go piece by piece section by section burn by burn until it gets to the end of it and that's what i did here you can tell like this isn't you, you can't just color it in like a a, a crayon all right <laughs> if I want to get that black, I got to just keep pressing and pressing and pressing. And, I, and you don't have to press as hard as I press, all right? I'm just heavy handed, y'all. You do not have to press to get that same burn, because if you, but it's about the length, how long you leave it on there. That's what's going to get the deepest burn. And it took me a second to really figure that out, because like I said, I was bending up that Weller tool. I broke all the tips. And I didn't even care. I just went back to Home Depot and bought some more. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think about it. But it was like, your hand shouldn't be hurting. Um, also, some people like to use gloves because they feel it burning on their hands. I don't know what's weird about me and why I can't feel the burn on my hands. But I literally have this like six hours, eight hours, and I don't feel nothing. 
I don't know what that's about, but I just feel, I got a lot of fire in my astrology chart, y'all. So much fire. Maybe because that's what it is. I just love it so much. I become one with it. I do get a little dehydrated and I got to drink a lot of water um, because of all the smoke and stuff. Um, but I do keep it on. But when I get in the groove, man, I take that suck off and I just be burning up my lungs, you know, but I can't do that. But, you know, it, it gets really intense here. This is about expression. And is this for sale? Am I just doing this for YouTube views? Absolutely not. I'm doing this to get you this artwork into your home. I'm doing this to change your home space. So absolutely, this piece is for sale. You can go to my website, D-O-R-E-D-E-A-R-I-E-Art.com, okay? And you can go on my art website and you can either purchase this original piece and I will ship it to your house, directly to your house, or you can go and get some prints of it. I totally get it. If you don't got it like that, to spend a whole bunch of money on a piece, but you really enjoyed my artwork, you can go get this print on there on my website as well, okay? And if you just love my work and you're like, D, I, I don't even have it like that to get the print, but I just want to support you, hit me up on my Cash App or my PayPal. That's also in the link in the description. And if you also want to know about these tools I'm using for the people that are getting into pyrography, you can go into the link in the material, I mean the link, haha, <laughs> the link in my description and I'll give you where to get your Koto box for the smoke, where to get your mask, and um, where to get your True Art tools. So shout out to True Art and that necklace right there. That's mine. I did it. I did it. And here we go. Here we go, my beautiful Capricorn art. It came out great. It's beautiful and ugly at the same time, but it's just, I'm proud of myself, y'all. Or I feel good about this. Pride, you don't want too much pride. But take care, y'all. Like, share, subscribe.